Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, unfortunately, we aren't working on the sub today, but instead we are bringing back another project, the Underwater RV. It's basically a small, remotely operated submarine. And I know we posted an intro on the channel, but we took it down because it was quite boring. But, instead you guys get to see it actually getting made today. So, let's look at the dome and what improvements we are making. Okay guys, so here's the dome. And it's a nice 6 inch acrylic dome and how we are going to mount this onto the PVC pipe is we 3D printed this and this will glue into it and then basically we can unscrew the dome and put the actual electronics on the inside. So we also got a silicon gasket and then the dome and then a nice little like spacer thing on top to help clamp it down without ruining the dome. If you can tell though, the screws we got are biting into the part we print it on the top so I want to put in washers that keep hold it up see it's going from that to that so hopefully this will make that part last a little longer so let's quickly do that Okay, so here is the dome all finished up with the washers on it. I think it'll work much better than last time. But also, don't know if I showed this yet, but it was screwing into nuts that are indented on the back of this part. So it will go on. Next, let's work on the motor mounts. Okay, so here's what the motor system looks like. We're just using a brushless motor that's already been waterproofed. But, this is going to go inside the coupling and then be attached to the PVC pipe so we need to print spacers that hold the motor in this coupling and then a part that holds the coupling onto the main body so let's quickly 3D print that Okay, well now these parts are printed out. Here is the motor spacer that will be holding the motor inside the coupling. And then here's the part that's going to be holding the coupling to the main body. But for the spacer, it just slips up and over top. And there's going to be two of these. And all you do, you push it into the coupling, and then it holds it in place and it still allows water to get through. So it's going to hold it just like that. And then this will mount right there, and that mounts onto the main body just like that. And then the hole in that is to actually feed through the wires, so we need to extend these, but we'll do that at a later point. In the meantime, let's make more of these. Okay, I just want to show you what we are quickly printing. We are printing three connectors for the couplings to the main body and then six motor spacers and that's going to take a little under 15 hours so it's currently 1120 the print job is starting up so we will check in on the print job in roughly five and a half hours when I have to wake up for work so I'll see you guys then okay here it is as you can tell, it's really noisy, so in order for me to sleep, I actually had to wear earplugs last night. But, oh well. So we will look at this after I get home from work tonight. I can't wait to see how this turns out. Okay, so here it is. As you can tell, all four motors are mounted and the dome is on so we are going to be adding another dome to the back and then we're going to be adding the thrusters right down here it's going to actually go forward and backwards these are just for up and down and tilting but there it is if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to like and subscribe as always we will see you next week with an actual sub video